Hi, my name is Sister Marling Evangelina Monge, and I'm a sister with the Daughters of St. Paul. Our mission in the church is to proclaim Christ through every kind of communication, through books, television, music, the internet, apps. We use all these means and more to make Christ better known. But I'm more than a religious sister. I'm also my parents' daughter, my siblings' big sister, and a tia or aunt to six amazing kids. My parents are originally from Costa Rica, and that's where most of my aunts, uncles, and cousins still live. But I was born and raised in Boston, home of the Red Sox. Go Sox! For many years, I was a bilingual kindergarten teacher until God threw me a curveball. I never expected God to call me to be a religious sister, but he surprised me, and I'm so glad he did. In fact, it was the people around me, my mother, some fellow teachers, even one of my students, who urged me to consider religious life. When I first began discerning, I expected God to call me to a teaching order, since I loved teaching so much. I met many beautiful communities dedicated to education, but for some reason, my heart didn't feel at home. Then, thanks to some encouragement from my mom, I finally visited the Daughters of St. Paul. I went even though I was positive that God wouldn't be calling me to evangelization with the media. But the Lord surprised me again. I loved the way the Daughters of St. Paul lived community, their prayer life, and I understood the great good the sisters did. It felt right, and I felt at home. Still, I wasn't sure if I should stop teaching. Then in a moment of Eucharistic adoration, I felt Jesus asking me to trust him. With the support of my family and friends, as well as the sisters and community, I took a leap of faith and asked to begin the admittance process. It's been 15 years since that night, and I continue to marvel at how God can work in our lives in unexpected ways. Today, I'm the manager of editorial and a children's book editor in my community's publishing house, putting my education background at the service of our mission. Although I no longer teach in a classroom full of students, our books reach young people around the country and even around the world with the message of Jesus' love for them. God can do some pretty amazing things in our lives if we only let him. One last thing I'd like to add. The support of my family and friends gave me the courage to discern God's will for my life. So I encourage you to look around you and think about the people in your families and parishes who might have a religious vocation. Your support could help them find the freedom to discover God's call in their lives. And if you think God might be calling you, don't be afraid to listen. It's worth it. Thanks for listening to this snippet of my story. Que Dios lo bendiga. May God bless you.